Good morning everyone. We woke up today with a rare break in the February rains and figured we should probably take advantage of it and go for a bike ride. So we decided to go and check out a lesser known site of historical significance up here on the Tablelands and figured we'd take you guys along for the ride. So we're going to head out of town on the Atherton Tablelands rail trail. We'll take that to Tolga and once we get to Tolga, we're gonna have to kind of hunt around for this spot, but um, hopefully it should be easy enough. After a very short stint on the rail trail back there, we figured rather than ride into Tolga and go through Tolga and navigate the, the highway there, we would just turn off early and take these nice quiet back roads out to the spot. And I think this is actually a better way to go. So after a bit of navigating through sort of rural suburbia and a nasty hill climb and a brief stop to take a photo of a big sunflower, we're just about nearing where we want to be. It's pretty high up, which kind of makes sense. And you'll see that when we get there. We're actually unsure if this is going to be public land or not. We don't even know if we're going to be able to access this place. So, um, yeah, this is about to get interesting. Let's uh, let's see what we can do. So we found where we want to be, but uh, it's uh, a bit of a trek to get up here. And we're not really sure if this is private land or not. There wasn't a fence or anything, so I guess that's all right. But um, I think there's a like a Telstra tower or something up here. So perhaps when we get to the top, that'll all be fenced in and, and we won't be able to get close to where we want to be. But uh, so far, pretty good adventure. All right, so after climbing all the way up that hill, we get to the top and there's some buildings that look suspiciously like, you know, someone owns them. <laughs> so yeah, we found a track that we went up to try out um, and that just led to the same spot. Uh, beautiful views up there, it's pretty amazing. But um, we felt like we probably shouldn't have been there, so we decided to get out. And I should probably tell you what we're talking about. We're actually stood on Bones Knob, which is a volcanic, was it a vol volcano cone? Yeah. The caldera? Yeah, it's a cone. I need to get, I need to sort out my <laughs> volcano vocab, I think. <laughs> anyway, so it's the, vol it's the volcano that created the Tablelands, so I've been told. But it also has a very dark history. I first heard about the Bones Knob massacre from an old co-worker of mine who was born and raised in Tolga, which is a small town just outside of Atherton. During the settlement period of the Tablelands, the local Yedinji people, who once occupied this entire area all the way to Karanda, they were rounded up by the settlers and they were brought to the top of Bones Knob and they were pushed in chains off of the, the cliff there. And that incident was kept secret there are no plaques about it, there are no uh, his, uh, panels written about it in any of the local historical museums we have here. Very few locals know about it. 
it, it's just a very dark and well-kept secret here on the Atherton Tablelands. Now, another part of the story is that in 1939, when they were building the Rocky Creek uh, Hospital, which is still around, there's tons of information on that, you know, you can actually visit that old hospital building. When they were building that hospital, local authorities uh, said to remove all the bones from that massacre at the base of Bones Knob. And uh, it's said that when the bones were collected, they were still in those shackles. And they, they were all just taken and just dumped in a tip. It's just so upsetting to think that we live in such a beautiful area and, and such a beautiful place could have such a dark, awful history. And it's kind of a shame that, you know, there's no uh, historical marker up at Bones Knob now, um, just some sort of show of respect for, for all the people who lost their lives needlessly. Uh, instead, there are just buildings there. There's a private residence up there. Yeah.